Hi kid and welcome to Kid Time Story Time. No, I I've never heard of the Audubon Christmas Bird Cat. Who do the owl? Since 1900, really? I can't believe that I've never heard of it. Well, no, I'm not an ornithologist, but I mean I do understand that that's the study of birds. Oh, no wonder you're so passionate about it. Do you speak owl? Oh, I forgot. I'm sorry, Ken. You don't speak owl. He was saying that that the this this Audubon Christmas bird count, is that what you said? Ooh, helped save a bunch of his relatives. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> He's very excited that we're going to read Counting Birds, the idea that helped save our feathered friends. Whoa. Oh, indeed. There's one of Hootie the Owl's relatives right there. But I have never heard of this, but it's a real thing, nonfiction, if you will. Shall we begin? Frank Chapman, must be that fella here, loved birds. Oh, must, yeah, he must love birds. They're kind of everywhere in his office. He worked at the American Museum of Natural History in New York City, creating exhibits about birds. He wrote books and magazine articles about birds. He studied bird habitats and bird habits. He read the research of John James Audubon, the most famous ornithologist of all time. Frank Chapman loved birds. That's a good vocabulary word, ornithologist, study of birds. Uh, in 1899, he began his own magazine called Bird Lore. Every two months, Bird Lore was published and read by other bird lovers, other lovers of birds and professional ornithologists, if you will. Around this time, Americans were starting to think about the natural world around them. First, scientists and poets, then government leaders, and finally, more and more regular citizens were starting to talk about conservation. See, that was a new concept. We didn't just come with that built in. We had to start to learn to appreciate the natural world. Oh, that right there, Teddy Roosevelt, famous for his conservation movements in establishing the national parks as a national treasure. So that's part of conservation. Now, how could we all live better in the world? How could they save the wilderness that was disappearing, the forests that were being cut down, the waterways being polluted, and the animals and birds that were being overhunted? Well, not everyone, however, as the conversation was going on, not everyone cared about conservation. On Christmas Day, sports hunters would gather and choose teams and hold a bird competition. All day long, the hunters looked for birds. On Christmas Day, what a strange tradition on Christmas Day. I mean, for me anyway, I've never really thought about that. Large birds, small birds, all birds were game. At the end of the day, the birds were counted. The winning team was the side that had shot and killed the most birds. Ooh! It's okay, it's okay, it's all right. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, it's tough. Sometimes history is a little tough to take, especially when your relatives were being shot. Frank Chapman did not love this tradition. You know, Frank, I'm feeling you. In the pages of his magazine, he set out to stop it. Now, Bird Lore proposes a new kind of Christmas side hunt in the form of a bird census. And we hope that all our readers who have the opportunity will aid us in making it a success by spending a portion of Christmas Day with the birds and sending a report of their hunt to Bird Lore before they retire that night. Count them, he proposed, but don't kill them. Oh, a wonderful way to spend Christmas Day in nature among the birds, counting instead of killing them. That first day, Christmas Day 1900, 27 bird watchers in 25 locations from Connecticut to California counted common loons and killdeer, winter wrens and red-winged blackbirds. Look at that. Look at that. From the mountains to the prairies. Through the snowy winter day. Oh, they observed hermit thrushes, barred owls, woo, woo, Carolina chickadees, fish crows, turkey vultures, and spotted and canyon towhees. In all, bird lore proudly reported close to 18,500 birds from 89 different species. Not one bird was killed. Ah, count instead of kill. That first count was not, not to be the last. Mm -mm. 
every year in December, more people join the count. Every year, more areas are added. And every year, more and more birds are counted in every corner of the United States, as well as Canada, hey, Mexico, hola, and, and Colombia and other parts all over the world. Look at that, everybody's getting in on the bird count. The owlers are the first ones into the field. Ah, woo, woo. They, cl they climb out of their warm beds at midnight and call down owls in the dark. By the light of the moon, they raise their hands to their mouths and whistle. They use recordings of real owls to hoot. They wait and listen. When an owl calls back, the owlers mark their maps and move on to the next spot. The owlers. Owl hoots. Look at that. Owl hoots. Isn't that great? Isn't that a hoot? Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know, I know. I just did that. When the sun starts to rise, so do fresh birders who arrive to take over from the midnight owl troop. Some owlers say good night and some just keep on counting. All day long, groups observe and take notes in their count circles. Sandwich turns and song sparrows, creepers, thrashers, buffle heads, brands, and bob whites. All birds are welcome. Wow, these are names of birds I've never heard before. I bet the same is true for you. Now, not all bird watchers are in the field. No, no, no. That's why we have windows. Some count the birds that visit their backyard feeders. All birders are welcome. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, we have kind of some birds. The birders collect their notes and add their numbers. Later, the National Audubon Society will compile all the data from all the different locations and learn many things. For example, how climate change affects bird populations, which species might be in trouble, what areas need conservation help. Hey, they put the information to good use. It's when you get a lot of data, then you can crunch the data, if you've heard that term. You put all this information together and it starts to show patterns that tell you things that you might not have known if you'd only known one thing instead of 10 things or 30 things or 100 things. The birders know this is important for science, but that night, what is really important on that Christmas night? Are there stories? Who found the most owls? Which rare birds were spotted? What records were broken? The Audubon Christmas Bird Count has become the longest running citizen science project and wildlife census in the world. Everyone wins. The birds, the birders, science. Ah. Uh, and all this because Frank Chapman, hey Frank, loved birds. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You love Frank Chapman too, Hootie? Ooh. Oh, well, I mean, who wouldn't? And let's see, let's learn more about him. Oh, he was a self-taught ornithologist. And now you know an ornithologist is a, it's a scientific field, ornithology. And, and that is specifically an ornithologist, a, a studier of birds. He was the associate curator of mammals and birds before becoming the curator of birds in 1908 at the American Museum of Natural History. And that magazine that we kept hearing about, Bird Lore, which I thought had gone out of print at this point, actually, it never went out of print. It became Audubon Magazine, which is still published today. And now you know the story. I'll say it said, would you like to count too and ways to get involved and I find an Audubon chapter near you, audubon.org, if you want to get all ornithologists on us and a note from, look at that. And look at all your relatives. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Let's see, we got the great horned owl, ooh, the barred owl. Ooh, ooh. Oh, looks like a grandpa, that's cool. Eastern screech owl. Oh, good imitation. Ooh. Oh, I love it. And thanks to Frank Chapman, now we're not killing, we are ooh, ooh counting that's right and that that makes for a much merrier christmas for your people doesn't it ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> see you next time kid and now you know something that we did not know but hootie did ooh, ooh. see you next time on kid time ooh, ooh, ooh.